as we already know and have seen many times and everybody has learned this take any number and raise its power to zero then you will get the answer as one here five to the power of zero equals one like six to the power of zero equals one seven to the power of zero equals one you know this i have taken all positive numbers they're all equal to one let's take negative number negative five to the power of zero equals one negative six to the power of zero also equals one all of them here i have taken integers now if you take non-integers also like a half to the power of zero equals one three over four to the power of zero also equals one or any rational number square root of two whole to the power of zero equals one square root of three whole to the power of zero equals one and you also know the most beautiful stylish irrational number is pi which is approximately 22 over 7 but that's not the exact value pi to the power of zero also equals one listen guys whatever number it may be either positive negative or rational or irrational if they are all raised to the power of zero you're gonna get the answer of one always all of them know that any number raised to the power of zero will get the answer of one but the problem is why it is like this why it happens so here in this session we are going to see the proof why why it is one why if you raise anything to the power of zero equals one so you must be knowing this property we know that a to the power of m over a to the power of n equals a to the power of m minus n if you have same base and there's division between them you subtract the powers now what we are going to do is put m as equal to n substitute so we get a to the power of n over a to the power of n which is equal to a to the power of n minus n and as you already know n minus n is equal to zero so we get a to the power of zero and the other side left hand side uh, suppose you have 5 over 5 with that's equal to 1 6 over 6 equals 1 8 over 8 equals 1 same numerators and denominators equals 1 so you have 1 on left hand side so therefore we get a to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so you have proved so if it is anything you put anything 1 2 3 4 negative 5 negative 4 negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 anything to the power of 0 the answer will always be 1 is that clear but there is an exception don't go away you should know this it's very very important 0 to the power of 0 is not equal to 1 0 is the only number in the world whose power if it is raised to 0 will not give you the answer of 1 but rest all the other numbers will give you the answer of 1 if raised to 0 only except 0 to the power of 0 is not equal to 1 now what's the problem why why is it like that i will tell you that also this is clear right a to the power of 0 equals 1 so here a can be any number except 0 now what is the problem of a being 0 if a is 0 then what happens is the denominator part a to the power of 0 that becomes 0 the denominator here becomes 0 and if denominator is 0 then the fraction becomes undefined so left hand side is undefined so 0 to the power of 0 equals undefined or it is meaningless if you see 0 to the power of 0 anywhere you can remove it break it cut it do whatever you like so anything to the power of 0 is 1 but 0 to the power of 0 is not 1 so you can see 2 to the power of 0 3 to the power of 0 pi to the power of 0 is always equal to 1 but not 0 to the power of 0 so i hope you liked it Thank you for watching and always supporting and making LK Logic as the best channel ever. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care.